And for many people, oysters are a tasty feature on local menus, but they're much more than that. Oyster reefs help prevent erosion, pollution, and create a home for sea life. New at 5, 10 on your side, photojournalist Robert Rizzo takes us to an oyster reef installation using an innovative technique. Battling the rise of sea level has become a constant project. And today, volunteers with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation are pitching in to create a new living shoreline at a home on a creek off the Elizabeth River in Portsmouth. We're actually um, bagging recycled shell that's been recycled from local restaurants in the Hampton Roads area. The foundation is part of the Chesapeake Oyster Alliance that is always looking to innovate and accelerate the progress across oyster sectors. And the company Natrix stepped up with these new bags to hold the oysters. We partnered with CBF to prototype uh, to find some materials that are more natural but that have the strength. So these are a prototype of a basalt fiber bag. Basalt is a naturally occurring la lava rock and they can make fiber out of it. The living shoreline that runs along the property acts as a buffer with natural grasses to absorb wave energy and filter pollution. It is a long-term solution to erosion. We're going to place them on the shoreline in a very specific way that, uh, that allows for um, um, sediment to kind of, uh, kind of accrue and then for vegetation to actually start growing behind the oyster shell bags. The estimated cost of the 718-foot project is close to $80,000, of which the Virginia Environmental Endowment and Elizabeth River Project fund. The owner cost is less than $10,000. Uh, living shorelines are a lasting approach to shoreline stabilization. The restoration project will take about six weeks to complete to help prevent the erosion of the shoreline. In Portsmouth, Robert Rizzo, 10 on your side.